You know how wind turbines are built? Let's start the base of the tower. First, a circular base is formed using concrete. Once the cement dries, a series of intersecting pipes are installed with screws. Around these pipes, reinforcement bars are laid to form a larger circular plate. After sealing it with a lid, concrete is poured inside. Holes several meters deep are drilled into the pipes, and excess pipe material is ground off. A high-strength metal disc is then fitted over the holes. Next, a high-pressure pump injects composite resin material into these holes, and after the injection, a steel rod is inserted into each hole. The intersecting angles of these rods underground firmly lock them into the rock layer. The gaps in the metal disc are filled with sealant and locked with screws. The bolts on the disc are reserved for mounting the tower. For wind turbines over 5 megawatts, the base needs to be deeper and larger. The ground is leveled using a grouting machine, and a 3-meter high base is installed installed at the center, which acts as a vertical base, connecting and positioning the wind turbine. Reinforcement bars form a chassis shape, creating a conical base for the tower. This requires a larger grouting machine and consumes thousands of tons of concrete, with continuous 24-hour work until the concrete is sufficiently solidified in a month. The base is then buried with soil. Next to the turbine base, a trench is dug for laying cables that transmit electricity. The other end of the cable is connected to the wind turbine substation. The substation manages, transforms, transmits and distributes the electricity generated by multiple wind turbines ultimately connecting to the national grid once everything is ready the wind turbine assembly can begin the blades typically over 40 meters long are the most challenging to transport requiring specially equipped trucks and experienced drivers the tower is transported in sections and assembled on site with two cranes one uses a special hook and the other uses steel ropes to lift and vertically flip the column after aligning and tightening each screw workers enter the scene. Now the second column is hoisted, with the workers inside completing the connection and locking. The third segment, lifted to a height of 50 meters, requires the driver to use a walkie-talkie for precision alignment. With this segment in place, the tower is complete. Next is the nacelle weighing over 20 tons. It's hoisted with ropes to prevent swaying. The nacelle is the heart of the wind turbine, including the gearbox, generator, and control system. After securing the nacelle, the hub is installed. This is the hub first. Flip the hub over to the vertical. Although a rotating component has a fixed installation angle and is secured once the angle is perfectly aligned. Finally, the blades are installed. These massive blades require custom lifting tools for hoisting, controlled by ropes in four directions to ensure stability during lifting. The tension below helps with the connection when the blades reach their final height. After installation, workers manually remove the ropes and the driver slowly removes the lifting tools from the blades. Once the last blade is installed, the wind part of the turbine is complete. 